Hey guys, it's Tristan from Crystal Focus. Now, this one is for uh, people who have an uh, OLED or OLED screen on their Sabre. Uh, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it in English. So, um, I've always thought it was too difficult to create a uh, simple animation with the font name or uh, any small text that you want to have um, on that screen. Now, it, it takes a lot of time because you have to uh, use a, a bitmap editor bitmap editor, and create all the frames and uh, you have to know just exactly what you're doing. If you mess up, it won't work. So um, I've created something that should be really easy to use uh, for just about anyone that can type. So let me show you how you can do this and you can create your own uh, text animated uh, OLED animation for CFX and for uh, Profi, I believe. So here goes. <laughs> Let's go. What I've created is a GPT, which I, uh, which is actually a, a kind of a chatbot, and I've uh, preloaded this GPT with some technical information on how to create uh, OLED animations. And uh, these OLED animations are compatible with CFX and Profi, and maybe even other boards. I don't know, but um, it will take away all the technical. Uh, know how uh, know how so you don't need to worry about that and you can simply just tell it what kind of text you want to animate and it will do it for you so um, for example I have a font that's called uh, the negotiator so let's just click over here say I want to animate some text it will reply now, which text would I want to animate I say the negotiator Okay, because the negotiator is uh, quite some text, it will suggest to split it over two lines, which uh, I agree. Um, let's uh, split it over two lines, but uh, center both lines, which looks better in my opinion. Now, it will suggest some uh, animations but feel free to try out any animation uh, that you can think about so for example uh, I want all the uh, letters uh, to scramble randomly and then end uh, on the correct text so that's nothing that the chatbot suggested uh, I just made it up and let's see what it will create from it. Um, I've already provided a, uh, a font that's the ethnocentric font, which uh, I like. It looks kind of Star Wars like, but you can uh, add your own font. If you have the font files, you can uh, provide it to this GPT. And uh, if it's one of the public fonts like uh, Ariel or Helvetica, or I don't know. Uh, publicly available fonts, I think it just can use that without uploading them. Um, I'll go with the default font uh, that it has. Now, um, I've told it to create uh, 20 frames because that will uh, give the, uh, the best frame rate. You can uh, suggest it to create more frames or less frames. Um, if you uh, experiment with this, you can determine for yourself what is the correct amount of frames. I've also told it to create both the uh, BMP file, the bitmap file, which you can place on your Sabre and an animated GIF so you can preview the file uh, on your computer uh, without loading it onto your Sabre. So here is the animated GIF which I can uh, open to see how it will look. Let's see. So it looks like this. It does scramble the text. Um, I do believe it shows the uh, correct text, but it shows it way too fast. So I can suggest a change. Um, it shows the correct text. Um, way too fast. I want it to 
scramble and then hold on the correct text for a while. So this already shows you that you can uh, interact with this uh, chatbot and it tries to understand what you uh, what you mean and it will then create and alter the uh, animation uh, according to your instructions. So let's see if uh, it's going to change it as I expected. Let me see. It's another preview. The negotiator. That looks really cool. So let me zoom in. So that's a pretty nice uh, animation. Uh, you can try this out for yourself. I will share the link uh, together with this video. Uh, you can find it either in the description or in the uh, posts that I make online. Uh, just try it out yourself and let me know if you have any good ideas to expand on this. Very excited to see what you make from this. Have fun!